welcome to Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. That's right, Kevin and I are doing shoutouts from two different locations again tonight. He's at home and I'm here at Nikki and John's dog sitting and house sitting. So let's get started. We have a few people to welcome to the community. D Davil 5441, welcome to the neighborhood. Ruby Pierce, welcome to the neighborhood. Megan Van Gent, welcome to the neighborhood. Enjoying the ride, welcome to the neighborhood. They also have a channel, make sure you go by and check it out. It's an awesome channel. Dre, now I'm not gonna get this right, okay? So if I get it wrong, please let me know. Dre Ornelas. Welcome to the neighborhood. Michelle Casas, welcome to the neighborhood. And Vortex Brothers, welcome to the neighborhood. And they also have a channel, so make sure you go by and check them out as well. Okay, we have an update on Tanya Longley's father. He had a really bad case of vertigo. I know what that's like, and there's a few other people that have made comments that they know what that's like. Vertigo stinks. It is so miserable. And he was throwing up, so they did a CAT scan, and they kept him in the hospital overnight, but he is doing much, much better now, and is at home, and is feeling fine. So, thank you all for the thoughts and prayers for Tanya Longley's father, and we are glad he is doing much better now, Tanya. Happy birthday to Tanya Longley's mom. Happy birthday, and my mom's birthday was last week. Happy birthday to her as well. Okay, we got some thoughts and prayers. As you guys all know, I did my thoughts and prayers earlier this morning for Elijah, uh, mom's vlog 80, uh, mom's vlog 80, Elijah, Mainville, Drax Shadow, you guys should all know them by now. Um, I've given them many, many, many thoughts and prayer shout outs and um, I'm sure many of you already follow them. But if you do not know who they are, please go over and check out Mom's Vlog 80 and please send your thoughts and prayers out for a miracle for Elijah. <sighs> Aussie Flicks. Thoughts and prayers go out to them because they are considering doing something similar to Kevin and I, where they are thinking of relocating and just doing a completely different new start, fresh new start. Peter DeRoos. Continued thoughts and prayers for his medical issues. I'm not exactly sure what his medical issues are, but Continued thoughts and prayers go out to you, Peter, and please, community, if you could, continue to keep your thoughts and prayers going for Peter DeRoos. I'd also like to give a special shout out and a special thoughts and prayers to Jessa J. She is going through some really difficult times right now with surgery being scheduled for her voice and whatnot. She is not doing as many videos as she would like to do. Her last video, she did use cards to do her video, which was a very inventive way to be able to communicate with all of us. So Jessa J, thoughts and prayers go out to you from us and from the entire community. We love you, girl, and um, stay strong. Terry Johnson, thoughts and prayers go out to her. So very sorry, she had to put her dog Chrissy down on Chrissy, the dog's 16th birthday. But the dog was getting so ill that she couldn't walk or anything anymore, so they had no other choice. So our thoughts and prayers go out to you, Terry. We know how difficult it is to lose a family member. And that's what our animals are to us, or our family members. Jerry Colburn is sick again. Thoughts and prayers go out to her that she does not have to get put back into the hospital. And thoughts and prayers go out to One Proud Mama. They did find a place to live. Update on that. But they are still both facing surgeries, April and Haley. So thoughts and prayers go out to them about their surgeries. So 
Okay, my question last week was, what are you most looking forward to about this fall? We had lots of great, great answers. I'm gonna read you just a few of those. Chelsea L, she's looking forward to Halloween and bonfires. She doesn't really like the cold weather that much, but she really does enjoy the bonfires. Tanya Longley is looking forward to the fall foliage, Halloween, Thanksgiving, crisp fall mornings, and nice fresh air. Bambi S, cooler weather and her son being all better from this big medical issue that he was just going through. Emily Awesome Sauce Vaughn, the fresh smells, crisp, clean air, changing of the leaves, pumpkins, and hoodie weather. Yeah. Lindsay Wagner, Halloween, her birthday is also in October. Her anniversary is November. She's also looking for the, forward to the changing of the leaves and the changing of the weather. I personally have missed the changing of the seasons living here in California and cannot wait to relocate back to the East Coast where I am going to experience the changing of the leaves, the crisp clean air, the fall foliage, the bonfires, the hoodies, the sweaters, the leggings, the boots, the oh just so much I am I've missed for so many years that I am so looking forward to. Kevin, what are you looking forward to about this fall? Of course, we're always looking forward to the entire month of October with everything we have that we do in October with a Halloween party and all the Halloween events that we go to. Yeah, keep your eyes open for all of that. Okay, and this week's question is, what is the strangest dream you have ever had? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Kevin, take it away. Okay, so last week's question was about the 2001 cult classic, um, Donnie Darko. And the question was, who is the guy who kept showing up in the red jogging suit? And the, question, the answer to that question was, it was, a, it was someone from the FAA. And um, if you watch from the point where they're, they're taking the, the uh, jet plane engine out of the house, uh, you will actually see him at, with the other FAA agents. So, uh, and those who got that correct was Jess Lucero, Tanya Longley, Terry Johnson, and the Abyss 92882. All right. This uh, week's question is about a, a uh, Halloween horror film called Trick or Treat from 2007, uh, starring Anna Paquin. And the question is, why did they hire little people to play children uh, for the uh, trick or treat scenes? Well, there's your question for today. Back to Val. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. And please go by and check out all our other videos, our Monday Night Trivia, and our Colored Letter Giveaway that I did. Make sure you go by and check those out. And we will see you all next week on another episode of